let us the Orazio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to unite ourselves with Jesus in this Holy Eucharist. Let us be sorry for our many sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. 
Hannah rose after a meal at Silo and presented herself before the Lord. At that time, Eli the priest was sitting on a chair near the doorpost of the Lord's temple. In her bitterness, she prayed to the Lord, weeping copiously, and she made a vow, promising, O Lord of hosts, if you took with pity on the mystery of your handmaid, if you remember me and do not forget me, if you give your handmaid a male child, I will give him to the Lord for as long as he lives. Neither wine nor liquor shall he drink, and no razor shall ever touch his head. As she remained long at prayer before the Lord, Eli watched her mouth, for Hannah was praying silently. Though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli, thinking her drunk, said to her, How long will you make a drunken show of yourself? Sober off from your wine. It isn't that, my Lord, Hannah answered. I am an unhappy woman. I have had neither wine nor liquor. I was only pouring out my troubles to the Lord. Do not think your handmaid and never do, and never do well. My prayer has been prompted by my deep sorrow and misery. Eli said, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She replied, Think kindly of your maid servant, and left. She went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and no longer appeared downcast. Early the next morning, they worshipped before the Lord, and then returned to their home in Rima. When Elkanai had relations with his wife Hannah, the Lord remembered her. She conceived, and at the end of her term, bore a son, whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry baten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, the, he lifts up the poor to send them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Please stand. Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers. And on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, there is one striking line in our first reading today. It says, The Lord remembered her. The Lord remembered Hannah. In the first part of our first reading, Hannah prayed to God for a son. He begged God to have pity on her. He asked God to remember her and not to forget her. And because of the prayer of Hannah, the reading tells us the Lord remembered her. It did not simply say the Lord granted what Hannah asked for. It did not simply say the Lord gave her her wish. It says the Lord remembered her. My dear brothers and sisters, what does it mean for the Lord to remember? Does it mean that God has a poor memory? Makakalimutin ba ang Diyos? Does it mean that God have memory lapses and would need reminding? Ulyani na ba ang Diyos? Kaya kailangan pa nating paalalahanan. When we say that the Lord remembered Hannah, does it mean that the Lord have forgotten her? And we know that is not true because God never forgets. God is wise. God is wisdom. And God has understanding that is infinite. And so God will never forget. And so when the Bible says the Lord remembers something, it really means that the Lord acts according to His will, according to His purpose, according to His promise, and according to His covenant. God is not just doing something in order to grant a request. Kapag kumilos ang Diyos, 
kumikilo siya ayon sa kanyang plano. Nagbibigay siya ayon sa kanyang tipan. And so when God remembers, it is always an expression of God's fidelity, mercy, and love for us. When we say God remembers us, we do not say that God has ever forgotten us. It simply says that God is acting according to His divine plan, according to His divine will. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord always remembers us. We are the ones who always forget God, whether deliberately or not. Ang Diyos kahit kailan hindi makakalimot. Ang Diyos kahit kailan hindi tayo kakalimutan. Pero tayo madalas nakakalimot o kinakalimutan ang Diyos. And to forget God is the work of the enemy of God. To forget God is the work of the evil one. In our gospel today, Jesus is confronted by an unclean spirit. And what does the unclean spirit tell Jesus? The unclean spirit tells Jesus, What have you to do with us? Jesus of Nazareth. Ano ba ang pakialam mo sa amin, Jesus na taga Nazareth? Ano ba ang dahilan kung bakit ka nandito sa amin? The evil one wants us to forget God. The evil one lures us to forget the works of God. And the success of the devil is to make us forget God. Kapag sa isip natin, sinasabi natin, hindi ko naman talaga kailangan ng Diyos, tagumpay na ang kasamaan. Ang pagkilos ng kasamaan ay ilayo tayo sa Diyos. Pagbawalan tayong lumapit sa Diyos. Sabihin sa atin na hindi naman mahalaga ang Diyos. Pilit pinapakalimot sa atin ang Diyos. How many times in our life have we forgotten God? How many times in our life have we deliberately forgotten God? Pinili nating kalimutan na lamang ang Diyos. But God will always remember. He will never forget. Isn't it that in the book of the prophet Isaiah, God said, Can a mother forget her infant? Be with, without tenderness for the child in her womb. Should she forget, I will never forget you. Malilimutan ba ng isang ina ang kanyang anak? Kung ang isang ina makalimot man sa kanyang anak, ako, hindi ko kayo malilimutan. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord always remembers us. He never forgets. May we also not forget Him. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the the evils of our time 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be freed from their physical and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish with your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your, of your glory, glory. O Sana in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he, he who, comes who comes in the name, name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Manila Cathedral is honored to host the very first devotional Mass of Our Lady of Guadalupe tomorrow at our 12.10 in the afternoon Mass. The National Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Guadalupe, Makati City would hold a monthly devotional Mass every 12 of the month at 12 noon. And tomorrow, they have invited the Manila Cathedral to host this here in the Manila Cathedral. And so we invite you to join our Mass tomorrow at 12.10 in the afternoon. Before the Mass, we shall pray the Novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe. And as part of this hosting of the devotional Mass in honor of Our Lady of Guadalupe tomorrow, the original image of Our Lady of Guadalupe will visit the Manila Cathedral and will be in our sanctuary tomorrow. 
And so we invite you to join us in this devotional Mass as we begin this new year of honoring and entrusting ourselves to Our Lady of Guadalupe. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ay dakila, 